as you look across the vista of the Serengeti Plains, you notice all the animals, but the most important animal, the queen of mother nature, is John's bees. Without these bees, neither you or I would exist. Now look at these bees and see how they work together in a symbiotic relationship with mother nature. Out of all mother nature's creatures, these are the finest. And if you ever get a chance to drink the nectar of the bee, you too will realize they are amazing. <laughs> okay, so this is Shaman John, and this is my buddy Paul. <laughs> hey, good day, how you doing? Not bad, huh? We got a show going here. We got <laughs> Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. Nice, good job. So what we're going to do today... Again. I just got to tell you, I'm such a fan of John's videos and the bees, and I'm so excited to be here. Yeah, it's good to have you here, Paul. Thanks, man. So, again, a little disclaimer, uh, definitely not professional beekeeper, no. but I'm trying a lot of different things. Today, we're going to add another brood box to this hive, um, but instead of adding it on top, I'm going to add it to the bottom. I've been reading, you know, all kinds of things seeing lots of YouTube videos. There's a lot of different ways to do this. So we're trying different things all the time. Some of the frames are open uh, Langstroth frames and some have the, the, the um, uh, what do you call it, the, the foundation in them. So we're just gonna try different things here. Um, I've got a new base for this one as well that has a drawer for oil so that the hive beetles can go in and not um, not disturb the bees. I've noticed hive beetles in my other one, but I've tried a technique there of putting like a fuzzy bottom of a tablecloth underneath and the hive beetles get stuck and that's working pretty well. But we're gonna try the oil pan on this one. So let's get started. Um, so just to interrupt there, John, oh, yeah, I, I, I just ahead. wanted to <laughs> let the viewers know that, you know, although John isn't a professional beekeeper, I feel as though me being someone that is fascinated with bees and aspire to have bees, that I learn along the way with John and it's not intimidating at all. And I think that's a real great thing what you're doing here is making it accessible for the average person. And, and even if you don't actually really want to have bees, you can have a bee journey with you, which is great. Yeah. I really love that. It's all about the journey. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. All right, it's bees, a bee journey. Bees are amazing. Bees really are a metaphor for the journey, for the healing journey, the journey to, you know, wholeness and creator consciousness and all this stuff, right? So right. it's been really great. It's been really amazing. So we're going to try and stay in harmony with the bees because we're both wearing shorts and we don't want them to <laughs> decide that they could take advantage of that. So... <laughs> We're kind of running with scissors here a little bit, but we'll see what happens. And and uh, Paul's got the condor feather from one of my condor feathers from my altar in this Andean condor in his little bonnet. Here you go. <laughs> All right, there we go. Awesome. Thank okay, you. so I feel like Vanna White a little bit, like I am the bee. You look like, a little bit like Vanna White. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> anyway, and now <laughs> behind the left screen. <laughs> All right, so let's see, what are we gonna do? Okay, so I'm gonna move this one over so I could put the new base there, and then we'll bring the other box over. So that's the plan, and we hope it all goes well. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna leave the feeder on there. Here's what I'm going to do, Paul, very carefully. Uh, actually, we don't need to have the roof on for now, so we can set that over here. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> We're going to leave the cover on here. So I'm just going to lift it off of the trays. Oh. Over here, temporarily. Good. So this is now... Ready? Let's grab the new base, Paul, if you don't mind. Which way do you want the drawer facing? Uh, drawer facing back. 
so they got their little landing thank you they got their little landing pad and they're probably wondering where did it all go this is where i was landing before now let's get the new box if you want All right, so we've got our new brood box. Fit nicely right on top of the new base. What do you think, look good? Now here's where I wanna, this is an option I think, but if I take a couple of the frames that they've already been building out and put them in here, then that way they can get a little bit used to, maybe we'll do three. The fact, oh, there's Gina. Hi. <laughs> okay. Um, so now, we take the lid off of this one. You see? Very happy. That's the uh, feeding pad or the remaining yeah, of the Yeah, so that, pad. right, that's that um, so you can see pollen the, pad. The, right? the pollen pad. You can see the outline where it was. Yeah. They've really eaten away at that, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah, amazing. It's really cool. Very calm and relaxed. Babies. I think I got to aim the camera a little bit down. You Still should uh, show the view of that. That's kind of cool. All right. See viewer. All says show the viewer. That's you guys. So I'm zoom in there. See, and you could see the original. Whoa! Sorry, original pollen patty. There's the outline of where it was. The eating. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Thank you, Viana. Is it Viana? No. Vana. I, I Vana. don't know. Oh, I'm no. Australian. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Okay, folks. Sorry. All right. So here's the deal. I gotta adjust this up a little. I'm doing good there, buddy. Okay. Now. Oh, you've got the. I've got a frame. Explain the, the apparatus you have there, John. That's rather interesting. Frame the apparatus. This is a frame to extractor tool. So I'm going to take one from kind of the sort of the outside ish. Second one in. Okay. Second one in? Yeah, is right that then. the consensus? Yeah, right. Thank you. It's all you. It's all me. Look at those beauties, hey? Look at that, folks. They're building their calm. Isn't that awesome? It's wild. It's awesome. It's going in here. do is they um yeah we could do one in yeah go ahead and throw, oops, throw that one in if you want to sorry I feel like I'm reaching it's okay yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know right bees are so polite we feel like we need to be polite <laughs> excuse me ladies there we go okay so maybe I just put one across so then you can put them an, another one with comb there all right spread it out That's a good idea let's do this one here oh, was it interesting i had a conversation with john earlier about him being really careful about not injuring the bees yeah neither of us like to want to hurt anything anyone so Look at that, John. Whoa. Wow. 
abundant. It's heavy. I can yeah, see so heavy. much nectar in there and everything. Wow. And see that? Cool. Okay, so now you got to push them together. There's no, you don't, you don't want any space because they'll build funky comb in the in between gaps. in the gaps. Mind the gap, as they say in London, in the Is that what they tube, tube stations. Mind, oh, the, mind gap. the gap. Okay. Yeah. Mind the gap. All right. So we're good. We'll put this one back in here. So far, so good. Gotta mind the gap, put them together. Excuse me. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Fantastic. Isn't that amazing? God, it's so cool, man. It's so great to work with these. Don't you feel, can you just feel like the, the meditation that happens when you're around them? There's like this. I feel very love. You feel the I love. Feel right? very, I feel very aware. Right? Yeah. I, I'm being rather than doing. Mm. Uh -huh. Boom boom. No, that was. Yeah. All right. All right. So, so uh, now you know, this is the difficult part. What we got to do is I've got to put this feeder over there. Jeez. Yeah, deep in the jungle. I got to replace the feeder. Excuse me. Okay. Did you want to give the viewers a view from bringing in? Give the viewers a view. Would you like a view, viewers? That's kind of cool. Would you like a little extra Since view? Since I'm a fan of John's videos, I, I want to see more, so... Okay. There we go. So you can see the stain of the patty. The, the pollen patty pollen feed. Patty feed from the previous. So we've got one, two, and three. All these three are were from the previous box. Right. And then these ones over here, as you can see, you've got the new ones. One, two, and three slotted in. Yep. So the bees will have like a good mix. I just thought this was pretty cool. <clears throat> yeah, that's Did the five. little frame grabber. A little bit like. So. What we got to do now is put this one on top of that one. So let's do that. Sorry. Hey, Gina. Oh, we got to get Gina. She's the Regina Costello, which means queen of the castle. Her mom didn't even realize she named her that, but I think it's quite appropriate. Queen of the bees. Queen of the bees, queen, queen of the castle. <laughs> Filming you now. Okay. It's coming in. Do you have something wise you to say? You made it through our jungle. Yeah. <laughs> what a great backyard. Don't let Kimmy in. She's going to she gonna eat the... Don't eat the bees, Kimmy. <laughs> okay. Hey, Gina. Hi, Paul. Nice to, Good see to see you. you. Thanks for coming oh, over. Lovely to be here. Yeah. Last time I saw Gina was in deep in the uh, center of the most beautifulest island in Hawaii, Kauai. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and we had a lovely uh, little trip. There was uh, a nice group of us with our friend Adrian yeah. and Kauai and took us in Waimea Canyon in the National Forest. It was beautiful. Yeah. Good to see You're you. You're such a natural speaker, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I know. He's got a good way to see the beginning. <laughs> he opened with him like a All right, John, let's wild do this. kingdom. Okay, so now we've got a couple of the frames mixed between the boxes. So I'm going to lower this down so they can see a little bit what... Um, geez, what did, you, did you get your set of bees yet? No, I'm, uh, I'm living vicariously through John's bees right now. Uh-huh. Thinking of getting some? I would love to get some in the desert. And there's a guy, gentleman out in uh, out in Pioneer Town near where a place is that has is a beekeeper. Uh -huh. So I'll be able to get all the bees and everything. Yeah. Are they always this busy, John, with the second brood? Yeah. At yeah. this time of day, they're all getting back from collecting. Bee Central. Oh, now they may yeah. have they have sealed this 
bottom to this box. So, right. Paul, it, what do you want me to do? I'm going to need you to just. We're going to need to. We may need my other tool to separate. Or do you want me to? You got to hold the base down while I lift this up. Okay. Oh. Yeah, flush it up. Oh, Isn't that beautiful. Beautiful, right? Right. <laughs> oh my God. So cool. What are you doing? So now we can control the. So now we gotta let these. I should have brought the brush. What about the feather? Oh yeah, can I borrow your feather? Thank you. See, they say feathers just as good as the brush in the bee world here. You want to make sure this, the camera is angled at the right? Oh, oh is it, is it, did it stop? No, it's it still gone. going. No, we're good. That's a great shot, John. <laughs> wow, I just looked at Good news is, is that I don't see any hive beetles, so that's... I'm happy about that. John, what's all this debris? You know, I, I don't know. I think it just gets left over from uh, the, as they build and they drop off their pollen and stuff. I see sometimes pollen pieces and there's bits of wax probably from the wax paper around right. that. Right. Do you know what I mean? Um, so we've got an extra base now. If we ever want another box, we've got enough material. Can you use your yeah. Oh, so you just put them on top of each other like that? Yeah, you just stack up the brood boxes down through there and they got extra. Now let's use the um, follower board. We're getting ready, you know, eventually once they build out all the brood, you put the honey super on. You put a thing with the queen excluder and then you, you can sound get... like such an expert in a matter of two weeks. <laughs> Trust me, I may sound like a lot of things, but I'm not an expert. <laughs> he told you yeah. about what happened I don't think so. with all the bees uh, we, attracting them. Oh, no, yeah, you saw the video when yeah, we first got them oh, and yeah, we, yeah, we yeah, left the windows open in the car. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, we, uh, do you want to put something on top of this, John? Yeah, or? now the roof goes. Right. So let's get the top of the roof. I'm being Vanna White today. Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> Hand him the stuff and the commenter. And you need yep. a little extra, you know. Oh, you hear? oh, you know what? That's not gonna work. The roof is still, you know what? We need to put this other board on and then the roof off. Such a fun Because it has that hole, huh? Yeah, there, well, this, this is just a different design. Like this box was different than all the others, so this was the bought this but it was for an eight frame instead of a ten frame so it's too small it's supposed to hang over oh like that one uh -huh. but you know what it gets the job done see that's the point <laughs> doesn't have to be perfect necessarily I wonder what the professional no, the, keepers say. no I know they leave comments like <laughs> like oh my no, they're God. very nice they're very sweet they just tell me what, what I did wrong <laughs> um, you know what I need? I need something to put on the back of the little meter. Let me declare this place out. Did you bring that class A Azul? Or did John just break that out? John broke it out. Oh, you broke it out. Did you guys have some? I did. Oh. You did? Mm -hmm. I'm going to make some guacamole. Oh, today. oh lovely. Thank you. this because it was leaning a little too much. Okay. Put more you guys do what you need to do. Okay. Do you want to uh, finish up to the camera, John? Yeah, so uh, let's see. What's the lesson? What's the bees? The lesson from the bees now? I would say that what have, what have you learned, Paul, from the bees? <clears throat> 
Uh, well, watching the videos, I have really enjoyed uh, the how relaxed and in tune with nature you are able to become that uh, working with the bees and mm -hmm. it, you have to take your time mm -hmm. and be conscious and you can't be in a rush and it helps you return to our natural state of relaxation I yeah. believe that yeah and you know what you recognize that you're in their world wow yeah you know what I mean like yeah. this isn't our world and you know the bees are here to serve us we're serving the bees just like in shamanism in general we're we serve the land we serve nature we serve the feminine this is all aspects of the feminine that you know we as very complex beings in this this whole mix of creation and all the different ways that it has expressed itself you know even though we may be some of the most complex doesn't make us better than greater than in any way shape or form in fact we are the most precarious right we we are on that kind of leading edge so we're you know we we were talking about this earlier when the bees you know if the bees aren't here we're not here <laughs> okay yeah. but that and you could yeah. think of that in every respect starting with the stone people the first people on the planet right we all had consciousness back then. Consciousness was here. It was in the form of the stone people and the Mother Earth, Gaia. And, um, you know, it sought greater and greater complexity. It became the single-celled organisms. It became, you know, the plants, the animals, you know, the different, you know, the, the, um, the mammals, eventually Homo sapiens. This isn't the end. I'm sure Neanderthal thought they were amazing until, you know, magnet or somebody else came along so we're not the end either we're just here for a little while borrowing these vehicles right but we are wholly dependent on every other being that exists and that we've ever been so we've been the stone people we've been the plant, plant people we've been the animals and it's this kind of thing that reminds you of that. When you're sitting around a fire with stones, it reminds you of the first story ever told by the stone people, right? And then it reminds you of, you know, what it was like to be a bee. And there's no greater expression of service and contribution and love for the feminine than the bee, the way they serve the queen, right? So, I don't know, I'm just reminded of that every time I work like this. Beautiful. Know? The whole thing is yeah. beautiful and if you're watching this, you may be a fan like I am and I'm a big <laughs> fan of John's like bee videos and, and I'm a big fan of Paul in every, in every way. An aspiring uh, beekeeper, so but for the time being I can live vicariously through John and his experience and journey with the bees so yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video yeah um, we had oh, I definitely had a lot of fun so follow and if Paul you're, and if you're still watching this that's pretty amazing too Fo but follow, <laughs> follow the well-being manager this guy is the best personal trainer on the planet because he incorporates John. prayer shamanism everything in a very very simple easy way that's Thank extremely you. powerful Thank you. Quite honestly, you. yeah. I mean, it's it's just an absolutely beautiful thing. Um, so I'm uh, honored to be your friend. Great. Thank you, John. For a long time now, 12 yeah, years. Yeah, 12 years. I met John met on the me Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> John married my wife and I. So, oh, yeah. yeah. That's right. Did yeah. that too. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Be well. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> be well. Bye-bye. <laughs> Much love. Bye. Much love. Sweetness and nectar.